with news of a school in Sydney's inner west promoting the stolen land narrative through a series of posters in the classroom. If only history was that simple, Liz. If only, Chris. I mean, I, I can't believe the extent to which our children in our educational system here in Australia are increasingly being used as ideological lab rats, whether it's gender theory, whether it's critical race theory, uh, are you a boy, are you a girl, are you something in between? Our kids are being taught uh, a leftist idea of the world yep. increasingly. And we know that they're coming out the other end unable to uh, prove themselves when it comes to basic things like reading, writing and arithmetic. Correct. Justin, it's this one view of Australian history that we can't allow to continue being taught in the classroom. Well, you were, you were calling it a stolen land narrative. It's not a narrative. It's actually a fact. And the only thing I care about with history is just telling the truth. So white people did bad things. Black people may have done bad things. When you tell history, all you've got to do is tell the truth and just let truth unfold. But isn't now, part of the truth... That isn't I part of the truth... enough look at it. Isn't part of the truth, truth progressing Australia to the stage where people live longer, uh, are wealthy... Uh, keep people alive. Like the truth is a very complex thing. Are those are those two things mutually exclusive? That you can't tell no, the truth not. about the stolen land and help people. Uh, I think more the well, issue, well, though, Justin, is at the things. age at which they're being taught it. Yes, exactly. I I'm mean, as a kid, there. I wasn't thinking about colonisation. I've got to leave it there, Liz Stora, Justin Smith. Thank you very much for your time.